What's going on guys? My name is Marcel. Welcome to my YouTube channel, One Dapper Street. Today I've got a quick and easy video for you styling cargo shorts. Shorts, obviously a summer essential, and cargo shorts particularly are a great way to be wearing shorts just because they're a bit more interesting and still offer that summer comfort. For that I've got four different shorts, styling them two ways for each of them, so eight outfits. Without further ado, let's get started. Links for all the pieces that are still available to shop will be down below in the description. Getting started with the outfit that I'm already wearing, just a couple accessories added. Here we have from Clocks and Colors a jewelry brand, a black long sleeve that's a bit more on the relaxed side. The shorts are from PacSun. I really really like these. We have that nice faded olive green, a bunch of different pockets, so really an extreme cargo short, if you will. You can carry all the cargo that you want in all these different pockets, medium size, smaller size, and then we have these long black drawstrings that I decided to just leave untied because these set the tone for all the black that's happening in the rest of the outfit so that it looks really nice and put together. The shoes are from McQueen. We got black socks, so here we have a little bit of white, just a little bit of an accent. Then around my torso from Canada Goose, a black crossbody back from Nautica, a pair of black shades, and my Piaget Silverlink steel watch. For a nice, simple, a little bit more street style outfit, predominantly black, but that pop of green in the shorts really makes this outfit work. Outfit number two, yet another more simple combination. We're gonna get a bit more extravagant in a second, but you'll see that cargo shorts come in many different sizes, shapes, fabrications, and colors. These are from Nike and still, in my head, qualify as a cargo short because you have these very large patch pockets that are sewn in between the seams, which I think is a really dope look. They're a bit more on the sporty side, for one, because of the fabrication, two, just because they're Nike, I feel like automatically you expect a little bit more sporty streetwear. But we're picking up on the white here from this little zipper detail as well as the Nike logo, and then extrapolating that to the rest of the outfit, we've got a beautiful, white long sleeve raglan shirt that is from ATOS, just launched on Thursday. So if you guys wanna check out the new ATOS Summer Drop, link is down below in the description. I'm wearing from Zara a crossbody back yet again, and then white socks in this case, and white high tops, the platform converse with the black details. So we've got tan, white, and then a couple of black details. The tan is picked up also in these rains shades that I got while I was in Europe. Absolutely fell in love with these the second I saw them in the store. And you'll notice that the overall pattern is the same as the first one where we had that long sleeve, the shorts, socks, and sneakers, but this is a little bit of a variation where we have a more fitted upper half, a bit more of a sporty vibe, and obviously a lot more lighter colors. Moving on to our third pair of cargos, the most true to like the essence of cargo shorts that you probably thought that I have in the video today. As you saw, the first two aren't like your traditional cargo shorts. I don't love those so much, but I do love these. These are from Descendants of Thieves, in navy, we've got a large patch pocket on the right side, we've got a cargo pocket on the left, and then we have that like nice and slim fit around the waist, and they flare out just a tiny bit. The way I style them here is with a white unique low tank top, then on top of that from H&M, a light blue white striped dress shirt. Usually I don't shop dress shirts at H&M that much because I feel like the quality is not quite there. With this one, I actually really, really like it. I think the light blue goes beautifully with the navy. Then we still got white socks on. These are also from Uniqlo. My Puma sneakers in white and gray. Then on my face from Hugo Boss, we've got light brown acetate framed shades with the blue lenses, so picking up on the blue in the outfit. And then a pearl necklace from Serge Denim, my homie in the UK. One of my, like, hands down, not hands down, hands like ha halfway down, my favorite jewelry brand out there, period. So if you don't know them, check them out. They have beautiful pieces. But yeah, so a bit more dressed up. Cargo shorts can be very versatile. It really depends on what you do with them, what style of cargo shorts you're going for. These are a simple cotton fabric, so like a chino fabric. So they are a bit more dressy and it allows you to combine it with a button-down shirt like this one. Outfit number four, a bit more vacation-y now. We're in another pair of Descendant of Thieves. The, Jesus, Descendants of Thieves. <laughs> This is my German really coming through. I am not a native English speaker. Anyway, Descendants of Thieves, a second pair of shorts. These are very similar, but also at the same time quite different. We got that like floral camouflage print in the color, uh, several tones of green. Then we have some piping around here, so it looks like a cargo short, but it technically isn't. But for the purposes of this video, it definitely is. I'm wearing a Uniqlo tank top once more underneath, then from Zara, this nice, um, beautiful short sleeve shirt in the crochet style. Then. The back for the haters. It's a beautiful back that I got in London at a thrift store. I know it's a bit more on the feminine side, but it's 2022. Move past the gender binary. 
Then we've got from H&M a nice bucket hat in tan. On my feet we've got the Puma X Ami Paris sneakers. Once again white socks, sneakers and socks is my vibe the whole summer long, especially when styling shorts and even more so when styling cargo shorts. So that's why you're gonna see that a whole lot, unless I'm wearing sandals, which we'll get to in a second. Like I said, this fit is a lot more vacation-y, a bit more breezy, and it just shows that there's so much versatility within just what cargo shorts you wear and then how you style them. I really like this look, leaning a bit more on the earth, colors, and then just a bit brighter as well. Doubling down on this bag as we circle back through the cargo shorts, once more in the Nike ones, this time a little less sporty. Even though the shorts themselves are a little bit more sporty, they can work with something that's a bit more casual, a bit more streetwear. So here I'm wearing a cropped John Elliott flannel shirt and cropped shirts I will be wearing a whole lot, especially come fall, I'm actually really excited. Whether or not they come cropped, I will make them cropped because I really, really like this aesthetic. Underneath, one more time, unique little tank top. Also, I'm still wearing my Piaget and I'm still wearing the Serge Nim pearl necklace because both those pieces just go really well with all the looks that I was just wearing. This watch goes with everything. So if anybody ever asks me what is the one watch I should buy, I always say a steel link watch just because it's so, so versatile. On my feet, also back to back, the Puma X Ami Paris sneakers for an overall very laid back look. One thing that really makes it pop though are these Nautica frames in a really light brown, like almost tan acetate frame. And those blue lenses again, so really picking up on the colors of the flannel shirt and even the shorts, which I think really makes this whole look work really well. Now for these past looks, we've been working a lot with matching colors. Here, we have something that's a bit more contrasting, but still complementary. We've got a nice light brown and medium brown short sleeve shirt from Samso and Samso, a Scandinavian brand, I believe Swedish, that I'd forgotten about, even though I absolutely love it, until I recently went to Amsterdam and saw a store and immediately bought this shirt. I'm wearing it here on top of the unique low tank top. Great moment to point out that I'm very excited for fall to roll back around, at least in terms of fashion, so I can do some layering that's not basing off of a, you know, tank top all the freaking time. On my face, we've got a Brag & Bone pair of shades that's a bit wider, a bit more of a statement pair of shades. And these brown tones are nice and complementary to the navy of the cargo shorts from Descendants of Thieves. On my feet, we've got a pair of slides. These are from Zara in a tan color. Generally, I absolutely love slides. I'm also happy that they're trending right now. I don't really care if it's trending or not. If I like it, I'm gonna wear it. But trending means that they're available in a bunch of different styles colors, whatever floats your boat. So if you're looking for a cool pair of slides, right now is the time to get them. And then overall, we have that combination of earth tones on my feet and on the upper half against that darker navy. And I think to me at least, it looks really nice. It doesn't have to be all that crazy. You have two layers up top, a couple of accessories, and really just two main colors, adding white in as a neutral. And then you have a nice, simple outfit that still is gonna make you stand out. Your eyes are not deceiving you. I'm wearing a black tank top instead of a white tank top. I know, Marcel, where do you come up with these creative ideas? But seriously, I think black tank tops are a lot harder to pull off than white tank tops are. They're just so incredibly versatile. But in this case, the black one worked. Why? Because we've got the black drawstrings on these lovely PacSun cargo shorts that we have on once more. On my feet, we've got also in black from Y3, a pair of slides that have platform soles. On my face, a pair of somewhat statement black shades that I also got from that flea market in London where I got the white back from. And then we've got this uh, oversized long sleeve, size large, mannering colored shirt that I got from Uniqlo. I think it's already oversized in a size medium and then I sized up even more. So this is very relaxed, but I like it for this look. These cargo shorts have a lot of volume, so this kind of picks up on that. Then we have the slimmer silhouette underneath and then the slides just to keep it nice and breezy. So we're playing with black against earth colors. And I feel like that's generally not done that often, but I think here it really works. We've got the light green and the cream against the black and I think it works. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And last but not least, an outfit that should respond to all the comments that some of you probably already left about. It being too hot to even wear a long sleeve at all, you can obviously wear your shorts just with a tank top. Can look as simple as this, then I would opt for maybe something a little bit more interesting, just a white tank top or even a black tank top. Here we have an earth color tank top from Zara in a taupe color. Then to make it a bit more interesting, we've got on my back from Todd's a nice backpack for one to carry more cargo, you know, but also just to uh, continue that earth color story. On my face, we've got from Warby Parker, a pair of green framed shades. So once again, that earth color, and even on my feet, we're back in the Zara slides and tan. So the entire look, nice and earth colored, and you can't wear any less than this without being topless. So this is arguably, you know, the most temperature appropriate, but for someone with my skin, I would not be caught 
walking outside like this in the summer, I need something long sleeve up top to actually protect my skin. So there's always that trade off between heat and sun protection. And I feel like that's a good note to uh, leave off on. I hope you guys enjoyed the outfits today all eight of them. I hope they gave you some inspiration for what you can wear for the rest of the summer. Leave your comments, thoughts, questions down below in the comment section and also early note for those of you that are um, interested. My fitness channel will be launching very soon in August. Make sure to turn on your notifications for this channel because there's going to be a launch video on this channel for the other channel also. So I'm excited for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys really did enjoy it. Uh, like I said, links are down below for you guys to shop and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, y'all.